vein network inside of a leaf is sort of like most of the important organ systems in a person, if I can draw the analogy. Like the skeleton, because it, it holds the whole leaf up and lets it capture sunlight, it's like the circulatory system because it's distributing water from the roots up to all the cells within the leaf. And it's also bringing resources from the leaf back to the rest of the plant after photosynthesis has happened. It's also like a nervous system because there are chemical signals which are transmitted to the leaves from other parts of the plant moving through the liquid in the veins. The really interesting question is understanding how a leaf with a certain form produces a certain function. And by function, I mean how much carbon it's using, how much water it's using, how much carbon it costs to build, how long the leaf is going to live, all these economic properties of a leaf that control how it's going to interact with an environment. The big picture is there's these global patterns in leaf economic function in terms of photosynthetic rate, lifespan, and carbon and nitrogen concentrations. Nobody has really understood the origin of those patterns, even though the economic function of plants is fairly important to the global carbon cycle. We came up with a model of leaf networks that can explain this pattern. What we've been focusing on then is the structure of the network of veins inside the leaf. Our hypothesis is that the structure of the vein network and the way the veins are distributed in a leaf is one of the most important things for understanding the function of a leaf.